Brought to you by wikivd.com Woody Harrelson Woodrow Tracy Woody Harrelson is an American actor, activist, and playwright. He is a two-time Academy Award nominee and has won one Emmy Award out of seven nominations. His breakout role came in 1985 joining the television sitcom Cheers as bartender Woody Boyd, for which he earned five Emmy Award nominations. Some notable film characters include basketball hustler Billy Hoyle in White Men Can't Jump, one-handed bowler Roy Munson in Kingpin Hey Mitch Abernathy in the Hunger Games film series. Pepper Lewis in The Cowboy Way, Tallahassee in Zobbyland, serial killer Mickey Knox in Natural Born Killers magazine, publisher Larry Flint in The People vs. Larry Flint, country singer Dusty in A Prairie Home Companion, magician, mentalist Merrick McKinney in Now You See Me in The Colonel in War, for The Planet of the Apes, for The People vs. Larry Flint and The Messenger. Harrelson earned Academy Award nominations for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor respectively. In 2014, he starred as Detective Martin Hart in the first season of the HBO crime drama True Detective, with Matthew McConaughey which earned him and McConaughey nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Early Life Harrelson was born in 1961 in Midland, Texas, the son of Diane and Charles Voids Harrelson. He has two brothers, Jordan and Brett Harrelson. In 1973, Harrelson moved to his mother's native city, Lebanon, Ohio, where he attended Lebanon High School. He spent much of his high school years working as a woodcarver at Kings Island Amusement Park. He attended Hanover College in Hanover, Indiana, where he joined the Sigma Chi fraternity. He received a Bachelor of Arts in Theatre and English in 1983. He told Playboy in October 2009, I was getting into theology and studying the roots of the Bible but then I started to discover the man-made nature of it. I started seeing things that made me ask, is God really speaking through this instrument? My eyes opened to the reality of the Bible being just a document to control people. At the time I was a real mama's boy and deeply mesmerized by the church. His father, Charles Void Harrelson, was a convicted contract killer who received a life sentence for the 1979 killing of federal judge John H. Wood Jr. in San Antonio, Texas. He died in the United States Penitentiary Administrative Maximum Facility on March 15, 2007. Television Harrelson is widely known for his work on the NBC sitcom Cheers. He played bartender Woody Boyd, who replaced Coach. He joined the cast in 1985 in season 4, spending the final eight seasons on the show. For this role Harrelson was nominated for five Emmy Awards, winning once in 1989. His character Woody Boyd was from Hanover, Indiana, where Harrelson attended college. In 1999, Harrelson guest starred in the Cheers spin-off success Frasier in which he reprised the role of Woody Boyd. He was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series. For this performance, he appeared in several 2001 episodes of Will. On the November 12, 2009 episode of the Comedy Central show The Colbert Report, Harrelson was interviewed by Stephen Colbert to promote his movie The Messenger. In response, to Colbert's questioning of his support for the troops, Harrelson agreed to let Colbert shave his head on camera. Harrelson returned to television in 2014 starring along with Matthew McConaughey in the first season of the HBO crime series True Detective, where he plays Marty Hart, a Louisiana cop investigating murders that took place over a time span of 17 years. On June 6, 2010, Harrelson took part playing in Soccer Aid 2010 for UNICEF UK at Old Trafford in Manchester.
The match was broadcast live on UK's ITV television. After being brought on as a substitute for Gordon Ramsay, Harrelson took the final penalty in the penalty shootout following a 2-2 draw after 91 minutes. Despite being initially unaware of exactly from where his kick had to be taken, Harrelson scored to win the game for the rest of the world team beating England for the first time since the tournament began. When later interviewed he claimed that he didn't even remember the moment of scoring. Harrelson also took part in Soccer Age 2012 on May 27, 2012. The match ended 3-1 in favour of England. Film while still working on Shears, Harrelson reawakened his film career. His first movie had been Wildcats, a football comedy in 1986 with Goldie Hawn. He reunited and became friends with Wesley Snipes and starred with him in the box office hit White Men Can't Jump and the box office bomb Money Train. In 1993, he had a starring role opposite Robert Redford and Demi Moore in the drama Indecent Proposal, which was a box office success earning a worldwide total of over $265 million. He then played Mickey Knox in Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers and Dr. Michael Reynolds in the Michael Cimino film The Sun Chaser. In 1996, he starred in the comedy Kingpin. Harrelson's career gained momentum when he starred in the Milos Forman film The People vs. Larry Flint in which he played Larry Flint, publisher of Hustler magazine. The film was a success and Harrelson's performance was nominated for a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award for Best Actor. After that, Harrelson was cast in more serious film roles. He starred in the 1997 war film Welcome to Sarajevo, and in 1997 had a featured role as Sergeant Schumann in Wag the Dog. In 1998, Harrelson starred in the thriller Palmetto and played Sergeant Keck in The Thin Red Line, a war film nominated for seven Academy Awards in 1999. Harrelson made other films such as The High Low Country and Pre trade Ray Picuni in the comedy EDTV. Also in 1999, he appeared as boxer Vince Boudreaux in the Ron Shelton film Play It to the Bone. Harrelson did not appear in films again until 2003, when he co-starred as Galaxia in the comedy film Manga Management. He appeared in the action film After the Sunset in the Spike Lee film She Hate Me. In 2005, Harrelson was in The Big White in North Country. Also in 2005 he appeared as Kelly Ryan, husband of a contest-obsessed woman in the film The Prize Winner of Defiance, Ohio. Harrelson made two films in 2006 the animated film version of Free Jimmy, and also A Scanner Darkly. In 2007 he played Carter Page 3, gay escort of privileged Washington, D.C. women in the film The Walker. In the Oscar-winning 2007 crime thriller No Country for Old Men, Harrelson had a key role as Carson Wells, a bounty hunter. The film won Best Picture and Best Director for Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen. Harrelson also won a Screen Actors Guild Award for best cast along with Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin and Kelly MacDonald. Also in a movie released in 2007 Battle in Seattle, Harrelson played another key role of a Seattle police officer whose pregnant wife loses her baby during the World Trade Organization protests in 1999. In 2008 Harrelson appeared in several films, among them the Will Ferrell basketball comedy Semi Pro, and the Will Smith stark drama Seven Pounds, as a blind vegan meat salesman named Ezra Turner. In 2009 Harrelson received significant praise for his performance as Captain Tony Stone in The Messenger. In what many critics considered to be his best role Harrelson was nominated for a Satellite Award and Independent Spirit Award. 
a Golden Globe Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Harrelson has also won the Best Supporting Actor Award in the 2009 National Board of Review Award ceremonies and received accolades from various critics' societies. In 2009, he co-starred in the horror comedy Zobbyland followed by Roland Emmerich's 2012, where he played Charlie Frost, a man who warns of the end of the world. In 2010 he starred as a bartender and mentor in the futuristic Western martial arts film Bunraku. In 2011 he starred as Tommy in the movie Friends with Benefits. He played Hamish Abernathy in 2012's The Hunger Games, and reprised the role in all three subsequent films in the series. Harrelson directed the 2011 film Ethos, which explores the idea of a self-destructing modern society governed by unequal power and failed democratic ideals. In 2015 Woody Harrelson and daughter Zoe starred in a seven-minute short film for U2's Song for Someone in 2017. He played the antagonist the colonel in the science fiction film War for the Planet of the Apes. Also that year he stars with Brie Larson in The Glass Castle. The script is an adaptation of Jeanette Wall's memoir with Larson playing Walls and Harrelson as her father. It tells of a successful young woman who was raised by dysfunctional and non-conformist parents. Her world gets turned upside down when they move to New York to be near her. The comedic drama is directed by Short Term 12 director Destin Daniel Cretton. The project began production in Montreal around June 2016. Gil Netta is producing. In 2017, Lucasfilm announced via StarWars.com that Harrelson would join Alden Ehrenreich, Donald Glover, and Amelia Clark in St. Polo, a Star Wars story. Variety previously reported that Harrelson would appear as Han Solo's mentor. In an interview with Mashable, Harrelson went on to explain while he portrays Han's mentor. His character is also a criminal. In 2016, Harrelson announced that he would direct, write, produce, and star in a new movie Lost in London which was filmed as a single take and premiered live on January 19, 2017. Theatre In 1999, Harrelson directed his own play Furthest from the Sun at the Theatre de la Jeune Lune in Minneapolis. He followed next in Roundabout's Broadway revival of the N. Richard Nash play The Rainmaker in 2000, Sam Shepard's The Late Henry Moss in 2001, John Colvin Barks on an average day opposite Kyle MacLachlan in London's West End in the fall of 2002, and in the summer of 2003. Harrelson directed the Toronto premiere of Kenneth Lonergan's This Is Our Youth at the Berkeley Street Theatre. In the winter of 2005-06, Harrelson returned to London's West End, starring in Tennessee Williams' Night of the Iguana at the Lyric Theatre. Harrelson directed Bullet for Adolf at the esteemed Hart House Theatre in Toronto, Ontario, which ran from April 21 to May 7, 2011. Bullet for Adolf opened off-Broadway with previews beginning July 19, 2012 and closed on September 30, 2012, cancelling its announced extension through October 21. The play was panned by New York critics. Marriages and Family In 1985, Harrelson married Nancy Simon, daughter of playwright Neil Simon in Tijuana. The two intended to divorce the following day but the storefront marriage divorce parlor was closed when they returned to it, and the two remained married for 10 months. Harrelson married Laura Louie in 2008. Louie is Harrelson's former assistant and a co-founder of Yoganux, an organic food delivery service. Legal Problems Harrelson was arrested in Columbus, Ohio in 1982 for disorderly conduct after he was found dancing in the middle of the street. 
He was also charged with resisting arrest after he ran from the police. Harrelson avoided jail time by paying a fine. On June 1, 1996 Harrelson was arrested in Lee County, Kentucky, after he symbolically planted four hemp seeds to challenge the state law which did not distinguish between industrial hemp and marijuana. Harrelson had arrived in the county with his attorney former Kentucky Governor Louis B. Nunn, an agent and a camera crew from CNN. While at a local hotel Harrelson phoned the county sheriff, Junior Kilburn to advise him of his intentions. Kilburn and Deputy Sheriff Danny Towsend arrived at the location where Harrelson informed them he would be. With the cameras rolling, Harrelson planted the hemp seeds into the ground. Once planted, Kilburn placed Harrelson under arrest for cultivating marijuana and booked him into the county jail. He was released on $200 bail the same day. He later signed autographs and posed for photos with deputies. He was acquitted of those charges, with the help of none after just 25 minutes. In 2002, Harrelson was arrested in London after an incident in a taxi that ended in a police chase. Harrelson was taken to a London police station and later released on bail. The case was later dismissed after Harrelson paid the taxi driver involved in the incident £550. This became the inspiration for his 2017 live film Lost in London. In 2008, TMZ photographer Josh Levine filed a lawsuit against Harrelson for an alleged attack outside a Hollywood nightclub in 2006. A video of the incident appeared to show Harrelson grabbing a camera and clashing with the photographer. Los Angeles prosecutors declined to press charges against the actor, but Levine filed a suit that summer asking for $2.5 million in damages. The case was dismissed in April 2010. Drug Reform Green Industry Harrelson is an enthusiast and supporter for the legalization of marijuana and hemp. Harrelson was a guest on Ziggy Marley's track Wild and Free, a song advocating the growing of cannabis. Since 2003, Harrelson has served as a member on NORML's advisory board. Environmental Harrelson is also an environmental activist. He has attended environmental events such as the Picnic 07 Festival that was held in Amsterdam, the Netherlands for three days in September 2007. Picnic describes its annual festival as three intensive days when we mix creativity, science, technology, media and business to explore new solutions in the spirit of co-creation. He once scaled the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, with members of North Coast Earth First Group to unfurl a banner that read Hurwitz. Aren't ancient redwoods more precious than gold? In protest of Maxim Inc. PALCO CEO Charles Hurwitz who once stated he who has the gold makes the rules. He once traveled to the West Coast in the U.S. on a bike and a domino caravan with a hemp oil-fueled biodiesel bus with the Spitfire Agency and narrated the documentary Grass. He briefly owned an oxygen bar in West Hollywood called O2. He has spoken publicly against the 2003 invasion of Iraq as well as previously protesting against the first Gulf War both at UCLA as well as during a college concert tour in Iowa and Nebraska in 1991 under the auspices of Woody Harrelson Educational Tours. In October 2009, he was conferred an honorary degree by York University for his contributions in the fields of environmental education, sustainability and activism. Veganism Harrelson is a vegan and raw foodist, along with not eating meat or dairy. Harrelson also does not eat sugar or flour. In Zobbyland, in which he plays a character with an affinity for Twinkies, he did not eat the confectionery replacing them. 
with vegan faux Twinkies are made from cornmeal. He appeared on a postage stamp in 2011 as one of PETA's 20 famous vegetarians, and he was named PETA's sexiest vegetarian in 2012. UNICEF in June 2010 Harrelson took part in Soccer Aid at Old Trafford in Manchester to raise money for UNICEF. Harrelson played for the rest of the world team alongside former professionals Zinedine Zidane and Luis Figo as well as chef Gordon Ramsay and fellow Hollywood actors Mike Myers and Michael Sheen. Harrelson played the last 15 minutes and scored the winning goal in the penalty shootout following a 2-2 draw during normal time. He played in the UNICEF game 2012 playing the last 10 minutes of the game for the rest of the world team losing 3-1 to England. Political views Harrelson identifies as an anarchist. In a conversation with Howard Zinn, Harrelson admitted that he considers Zinn to be a personal hero of his. In 2002, Harrelson wrote an article in the British newspaper The Guardian condemning President George W. Bush's preparation for a U.S. invasion of Iraq as a racist and imperialist war. He also admitted that he was against the USA's previous war in Iraq and President Bill Clinton's sanctions against Iraq. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?